Hello and welcome. I am the Suit and Tie Dip and Chew Guy, and this is the fourth review, the number four review of the Tobacco Bits playlist. And you're sitting there thinking, I didn't know there was a Tobacco Bits play. There is. Unfortunately, in the modern age that we are in, Tobacco Bits are a fairly small market. Uh, that is, there are not a lot of products. So... It's a very limited playlist. Uh, I, I knew from the beginning it would be, but there were products that I wanted to try and I thought should be addressed. So, this is the number four, uh, the playlist, and another review from it will pop up in the last 20 seconds of this video. This product is Grim and Triple number one. This review is completely thanks to Thor Odinson, who shipped me this product from Germany. So we're going to take the package over to the desk, take a look at that packaging and the product inside. I should throw out there, point out, that I have never had this product, one. I have never opened, I, I, I've never, not only have I not used it before, I have never seen what's in this package in person. I have watched some videos in the past which piqued my interest. I am not exactly sure what I am going to find or what we are going to find. That said, as I said, as of the recording of this video right now, this should be on the Tobacco Bits playlist. Unless we get really surprised. Thor, I want to thank you for shipping this to me. Um, this will be one of a few. So, number one, obviously. Uh, there is a two, a three, a five, and a six. They are all in-house right now. When you look at this packaging, it's all going to be in German. It is a German product for the German market. All right? I do not speak German. Well, I am extremely limited in speaking German. So we're going to take a look at the packaging. I do want to point out as far as anything on the packaging, if there is a lot number I have not checked yet or anything like that, this video is being recorded on the 3rd of May. With that, let's head on over. Okay, so here we are. Uh, it is basically sort of like a small pipe tobacco pouch. And it is small, which is what's throwing me off a little bit because in older videos that I saw of this, it seemed like the bits were larger. And I don't see how they would fit them in this. But the packaging itself was of a different type. So we're going to open it up. Yeah, saw the front there. Uh, tradition since 1849. That's basically all I can get from that and uh, the German uh, this product is delicious so we will see they are putting it forth as tobacco sticks there's a barcode and there is some sort of lot number there again I do not know what it means but I can tell you for sure that the 15 does not stand for 2015 I believe Thor got this directly from the online side of the company itself. So, 14 grams is the total weight of the product inside. And with that, we will get this open. There seems like a lot of packaging. It seems like it's wrapping over on itself like a couple times, which I'm sort of interested as to why that is. It's got a... It's not tape... Oh. Well, it's sort of acting like tape, though. So I hope you paused and read all that because that's the end of that. And yeah, it. You know what? Whoa! What? <laughs> okay, it's set up like a pipe tobacco pouch, or even more so, sort of the dimensions of a hand rolling pouch, like hand rolling tobacco. Here is a very long. German write-up, I guess, of the product, which I don't understand anything 
really, of. I hope you pause that if you do speak German. We're moving on. And is the pouch sealed? Yes, it is. It has actually got a seal on there, sort of like a chew pouch, only they're not using glue dots. They're using a heat line, it looks like, to melt the plastic closed. And what do we got in there? Do you want to come out? Do you want me to ask again? Whoa. Okay. So what you got here is... It's a tobacco bit, but it is considerably larger than any other tobacco bit I have ever seen. It's, it's quite large, and there's more in there than I thought. Now, I thought originally that these were larger products, like it was even bigger than this. Mind you, these for tobacco bits, these are huge. Um, I thought they were actually bigger than this. The older videos show a larger product in a tin. So, I actually went, when this pa I saw this packaging, I actually went and checked their website to see if there were larger sized products. I did not see anything, so I am not quite sure how that played out or when they scaled down. But all said, these things are long. Wow. And they're tacky, too. Wow. Okay. I am liking that. We're going to take it back up top because now I am very interested to see what this is about. Okay, and we are already past the seven minute mark. I do apologize. I just felt that for something out of the blue like this, a little background was needed. So I'm going to grab this bigger one that I was sort of blotting there. And I'm getting licorice, which would make sense in a tobacco bit. Licorice and something else, but I'm not quite sure what, so... I need to get this mud jug. No. Little cuss, sorry, not a mud jug. So to get the flavor going there, I bit down on this, and it was like immediate. I felt like I was biting into a grape. It like juiced. There's zing in the mouth. I believe you spit with this. I, I From videos I've watched over the years, I believe... I believe you spit with this. Um, from what I am feeling in my mouth right now, the, the sensation, I am definitely spitting with this. Wow, there's a lot of... I'm a little bit thrown off here, to tell you the truth. In a good way. Um, wow. Okay. So it's definitely got a licorice aspect to it, like black licorice. There's something... I, I should have looked into it, I'm sorry. For something like this, I should have looked into it. There is something alcohol-wise. Rum, maybe? I was never big on rum, but for some reason I'm thinking that that might be the... How many of these things do they put in here? There's a lot in there. Let me try biting down on it again. So with a bit like this, these ones look like they're twist. Sometimes it's a fold deal. But usually, and by their very nature, they're sort of meant to be bitten one to release more flavor and nicotine. So I 
there was actually a popping feel there. Sort of like a secondary vein in, like, Red Man. There's a lot of flavor for a bit. I'm digging this. Like, there's a ridiculous amount of flavor going on, and the nicotine seems good. Wow. Okay, Germany. Um, I'm almost tempted. It, it almost feels like dip when you put it. I'm almost tempted to put it like more than one in. So I'm putting another one in. You got a big one in there? It feels like dip. It's soft enough that it's sort of... Okay. What, you're, yeah, I'm, I usually don't do the whole playing up the spitting, but... Spitting brand. It, it's spitting... More brown than most American dip I use outside of my normal stokers. There's a lot of flavor juice going on. Now, I am not a huge fan of, like, black lic licorice, but I was sort of expecting that aspect. That That's a running theme with bits. These things... Although not as big as what I've seen in the past in videos, are much, much larger than, let's say, an Oliver Twist or anything along those lines. And when I say much larger, I'm talking that first one that I put in is like uh, probably three or four bits of Oliver Twist. Man, there is a lot. And if you squeeze it, it even gets crazier. Heavy black licorice, though. So if you don't like that, that's something you've got to keep in mind with this. Yeah, it's spitting brown. It's spitting browner than any, like, let's say, Skull or Grizzly product I've ever done. Nicotine seems good on it. Um, I'm really, really surprised by that. I, I knew this stuff was going to be high quality. Uh, the, the company is just looks like from their website, everything else looks quality. But I wasn't expecting to have it like personally vibe with me. Like, you know, I was going to just do the review and be like, look, this is high quality stuff. It's not quite my thing. I don't know though. I'm moving to jerk now. <laughs> so, I got two of them right here. In the next review, number two, I will have basically the price breakdown. And I will talk or, or search to see if this is possible to get this stuff shipped stateside. I'm not quite sure. Um, it's good. It's good. Nicotine seems good. Um, you have to spit, which I don't have a problem with. It actually spits brown. Zingy in the mouth. Larger bits, tacky moisture level. Let me just show that again because that is noteworthy. the the whole The whole thing has. Uh, I am pleasantly surprised in the extreme. So this has been my review of Grim and Triple number one and two will be.
coming in short order. I am Suntai Dipichu Guy. I do thank you guys for watching. I realize this is a little bit of a longer video than I've been doing recently, but again, I felt need to give background there. Thor, thank you again. Excellent experience. Thank you. I am the Suntai Dipichu Guy. You all do take care of yourselves, and God bless.